Okay, Algebra 1, this is your review for 4.1 to 4.3. So the first lesson, remember, that we talked about was writing equations in slope-intercept form. And we did this using um, both the fact that we could use y equals mx plus b. So we did it slightly different, y equals mx plus b. And we also used point slope, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if you're given the slope and the intercept, it'd be great you can pull right to this formula, but we don't have that. And so a lot of times you're given a slope and a point, so we have to use the second equation. I did not use this method here. You can use this method, but I prefer that you do not. And remember if you're given two points, you find the slope first and then just choose one of those two points. Make sure you are pausing the video to get these work or these problems. Um, the second one is writing in standard form and point slope form. So for obviously point slope form you leave it as y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So you can leave it in a particular form that is not completely finished. So your problem remember will look something funny like y minus 3 equals 1 half x minus 1. That is in point slope form. Obviously in um, standard form and to get to slope intercept form which are the next two sections you write it first like this you expand everything gather everything to the right side standard form remember now is ax plus by equals c where the x term should be positive and a b and c should be nice whole numbers so you may have to multiply both sides by a common number by the least common denominator things like that. So that is 4.2. 4.3 was parallel and perpendicular lines. The first section they want you to do parallel and then the second one they want you to do perpendicular. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So remember that. And the last one is the scatter plot. And so, remember, this is line of best fit. I want you to actually find the line equation that goes through here. Don't just tell me um, that it's a positive or negative correlation or no correlation. I want you to go through all the steps just like this example. Tell me the line equation. And then um, the last one, it tells you that there is a scatter plot, and they give you the two points that they want you to form the line equation for. So otherwise, okay guys, you do not have to do every single problem in this pro in here. I would do like two from this set, two from this set. Word problems, we can skip, okay? We're in summer school. I want you guys to really understand the nuts and bolts of everything. So you guys can take that out if we want. So we'll just take that out. Again, do one or two problems from each section. I am not going to hold you to a fact that you have to do every single problem. These, obviously, you're going to have to do both. So, all right, have a great day.